Welcome back, DP. Today is March 1st, 2016. I'm Sarah Asmussen. And I'm Lizette Moskeva. Today on DP News, Powder Puff Football, Jazz Festival, and more. Sit back and relax, Chargers, because you're watching DP, DP News. News. Just a reminder that the Daily Poll will take place right before DP News begins every day. Quick birthday shout out to Lisi Carranza. Your friend Alan Angel wishes you a sweet 16. Girls interested in power, powder puff football should stop by S5 on Thursday, March 3rd for the club's first meeting. Now over to Peter for more info on what this club is all about. What's up DP? I'm Peter Apple reporting for Powder Puff Football and I'm here with... Amelia Mecklenburg. Taya Neuschel. Brittany Tisdale. What is powder puff football? Um, powder puff football is flag football for any girls interested in playing. Interesting. How can I join powder puff football? Um, you can come at lunch in S5 on Thursday. <laughs> um, why should I join powder puff football? Um, if you want to play football, this is a, your chance to play for girls and it's just super fun. You get to be part of a team. Also, guys, if you want to be cheerleaders, you can do that. I know a lot of guys that would want to be a cheerleader. <laughs> All right, now back over to our anchors. Sounds like a lot of fun. Maybe I'll tag along to the meeting this Thursday in S5. But if sports aren't really your thing, the Jazz Festival is this Saturday. The day-long festival will begin at 8 a.m. with school big bands and combos competing in divisions from the junior high school level all the way up to the university level. The day the day competition will end at 6 p.m. and the evening concert will then begin at 7 p.m. The entire festival takes place in our very own Ealing's Performing Arts Center. If you're a current sophomore or junior interested in taking the SBCC English 110-111 dual enrollment class during the 2016-2017 school year, you must take the SBCC English assessment on Friday, March 11th at 8 a.m. in the cafeteria. Starting today, sign-ups will be held in the counseling office with Mr. Sofro, before school, at lunch, or after school. In order to sign up for the assessment, students must have an SBCC student ID or K number. If you have any questions about the assessment or your K number, please contact your counselor directly. Anyone looking to gain 80 hours of paid experience in the nonprofit community? The Partners in Education Training and Lead... Gabby, you got to speed it up a little bit. An education training and internship program application is due next week on March 10th by 5 p.m. As part of the Partners in Education Internship Program, you will complete a seven-job readiness workshop that will help you be successful in the workplace, and interns will earn a minimum wage for 14 training hours. To get started, pick up an application from the Career Center, fill it out, and turn it into the Partners in Education by 5 p.m. The application can be mailed or hand-delivered to Elizabeth Adams, Partners in Education, at 3970 Law Colonia Road, Suite 9, Santa Barbara, California, 93110. Later, incomplete applications will not be considered. If you're having trouble picking electives for next year, here are some options to consider. I've been in this class for about two years now and we've had a lot of fun experiences. We've gone on field trips and I've learned a lot of techniques as an artist. Hi, I'm Ms. Bollinger and I teach ceramics here at DP in A6. Ceramics is part of the visual arts program here at Dos Pueblos. 
When you come into A6, it's a chance to relax, a chance to express yourself visually using clay. Uh, if you're in the sculpture class, we use other materials as well. It's a time to dream, and it's a time to relax. Be sure to look into those classes next year, DP. They're lots of fun. Chargers, there are only three days left until we... Okay.